It's called the Spanoulis action. Spanoulis is a is a Greek national player who played for 20 years, Euro League, was drafted to the NBA, but he's a Greek legend. And he was famous for this cut. You could essentially come from under the rim and you're cutting up the lane. Having a play named after you is great, but how good is Vasilis Spanoulis at using such plays as a coach? After collecting all the accolades in Europe and retiring, he debuted as the head coach in Greece. The creativity of one play that we will see later blew my mind, but let's look at the bigger picture first and see if Spanoulis Spanoulis has the potential to become one of the all-time greats in coaching as well. Sometimes you need to just to put the rules and uh, to let the, the players ex express themselves. His team Peristeri finished their season by winning bronze in the domestic league, a massive jump from last season's eighth place. However, they had a somewhat underwhelming performance in the Basketball Champions League, where they exited the competition early after losing the play-in tournament. Their premature departure meant some of his critics, probably the die-hard Panathinaikos fans, were quick to judge him as a bad rookie coach. Spoiler alert, he's nowhere near a failure and you're about to see why. I don't know if you have heard it, but Spanoulis' ex-teammates have mentioned more than once that the Greek guard is a complete basketball junkie. He's devoted, He's uh, he lives for basketball. So to no surprise, I came to find out that his playbook is filled with some trademark plays from other legendary coaches and mixed with his own great ideas. Can you recognize another team running the same exact play? Everybody's involved as the power forward receives, hands it off to a guard in rhythm with the center setting the screen and rolling to the rim. I'm not sure if he is paying homage to the Olympia cause and Yorgos Portsokas here, but this was their most successful action in the last years. Even if the ball handler doesn't create much, all the cutting by other players creates favorable closeout situations and Peristeris Sylvain Francisco uses one of these in this clip. Remember his name for the latter part of this video. Francisco Camila. There are two more coaches from whom Spanoulis has taken their best bits. The Serbian legend Jelko Obradovic and his student, now an amazing head coach himself, Dimitris Itudis loved to utilize this handoff into pick and roll action from Horn's alignment. We have seen numerous instances where Partizan and Fenerbahce got points from this play, especially after timeouts where the possibility of a cheeky backdoor opens up. Spanoulis ran this multiple times as well, looking for Marcus Denmon to attack with speed and create the mismatch, which they get here but just miss a layup. <laughs> Before we look into another famous coach Spanoulis has taken something from, subscribe to our channel for a chance to win a Nikola Jokic jersey as we're giving it away for one lucky person once we hit 75k subs. What about copying some plays from Sharuna Sjesikavicius, his former teammate when these two were playing for Panathinaikos? Looking at Peristeris' options after timeouts, which to be honest never lack creativity, there is this play from Iverson Entry where a point guard cuts through the middle to open up space for a shooter. This often works because the chaser is also the weak side low man when the side pick and roll happens, making it really tough for him to stay close to the shooter. Jesikavicius ran a ton of this action for Abrines or Courage this year in Barcelona, but it all started way back in Jalgiris days for Arturas Milaknis. Abrines. Response. Now it's time to look at some simple actions from Spanulis that were the base of Peristeri's offense. With point guard Francisco being the go-to guy, many actions were designed for him. It's a ram screen between the bigs to start, so the defender arrives late and Francisco capitalizes on it by going around the late hedge to make a free. Another note after watching Spanulis coach, he loves the why change what works principle. In this particular game, Peristeri destroyed the opponents with this 1-4 pick and roll as they kept putting pressure here. Different options are available since the forward often does the Verjao move here. Flips the angle at the last second, opening up areas for Francisco to attack. Good look here rims out, but Peristeri are able to score on a relocation free. Look at this, this is the fifth clip of the same set and we are still in the same second quarter. Ayak finally decide to switch it, but Dentmon is more than capable to create and score in an ISO situation. What I enjoyed even more is that Peristeri's smartly came back to rub some more salt on the wound in the second half. Ajax switches again, Spanulis' team tried the boomerang pass, but a double team comes, which results in a wide open corner free. Moraitis, 
συστημένο και συστημένο. Remember, we still haven't gotten to the genius set play, but now it's time to shout out the sponsor of this video, Kix. Since 1993, Kix has been a specialist for retro and performance basketball shoes, limited sneakers, and high quality streetwear apparel. With thousands of constantly updated performance and basketball culture products, they are the go to place for basketball players and everyone who identifies with the never not balling credo. Check out kicks.com for the very best basketball gear in the game and don't forget to use our special promo code BASKETNEWS10 for 10% off. As you can see, Spanulis is a modern coach. Short actions in the half court with more fancy plays after the timeouts. Just like his younger colleagues, he also encourages his team to push the pace as according to Instat, 13% of their possessions ended in a fast break shot. With Francisco's incredible acceleration and others occupying their lanes, they are able to be efficient, averaging 1.2 points per possession in these. This is a great example of how Spanulis emphasized that as Peristeri get a layup even after a made basket by the opponents. Before looking at my favorite Spanulis set, we have another simple pick and roll action to discuss. It starts with a pin down for guard, with the big then setting up a step up screen. Why it's so efficient? Look at the spacing. There is no nail help because the point guard just passed the ball from up top and his defender isn't in time to retreat to bump the rolling big. That help is laid by a second and Hummer scores the easiest of layups. In the next possession, the help is here, but again, after the big receive the ball. This creates a closeout one meter too long, Moraitis breaks it and it's another uncontested layup for Hummer. Another advantage on this play is all the space the ball handler has to work with. Francisco's gravity forces a denial as Polianitis navigates against under and makes a mid-range after taking his man as a hostage. This scheme works brilliantly because it fits perfectly the roster Spanulis has. Denmon can show off his speed and reject the screen again because Francisco's defender is glued to him. Him. With such spacing, it ultimately becomes a two-man game and then one surely knows how to use it to his own advantage. <laughs> Leaving the set plays aside, the second point of emphasis in Spanulis' offensive philosophy is cutting without the ball. Every time there is a four-corner pick and roll, we will see Peristeri players cutting from the wing inside. The logic behind this? To punish the stunts that clog the driving lanes and that have become a vital part of every European team. Look at the chaos such movement creates. Two players have to be on the same page and if they are not, it's either a layup or an open free. Peristeri players being overly active without the ball is one of my most liked things from Spanulis' rookie year as a coach. However, that award goes to the genius play that I mentioned since the beginning. To end the quarter against Panathinaikos, they run this ram into Spain pick and roll. But wait, it's only a decoy before the center turns around and sets a pick for the guard. Such spin cycle frees up Denmon for the shot, with the finishing touch being this guy cutting all the way to the right side to eliminate the possibility of help. I thought I'm not going to find anything better, but I was wrong. Couple games later, they add another layer to the same play. There are three screens between the guard and the center to completely lose the defense into what probably is the most beautiful execution I've seen this past season. <laughs> After looking at all this, I think it's pretty safe to say that a basketball junkie like Spanulis has a bright coaching future ahead of him. What do you guys think? Is he ready for a EuroLeague stage already? Let's discuss it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, check the BN Plus platform here, and I'll see you in the next one.